Holy Wiremod here, and this is going to be video 2A in the How to Build series where I'm going to be going over the basics of hydraulic automatic doors. So let's start by getting this 2x1 PHX plate, and then we're going to get our stacker, which is a typical procedure with the hydraulic doors, and then we're going to take our no collide, and we're going to no collide the middle from the right, and we're going to weld the two outside doors. Alright, last thing we have to do before getting into wire is putting our sliders on. So we need a slider in this corner, to this corner, and we're going to need one more slider in this corner, to this corner. Alright, and you remember the sliders, just make sure that door is going in one direction. Alright, so let's get into the wire as part of this, and we're going to go grab the hydraulic controller. So, we're going to use hydraulic right here, hydraulic right here, and that's going to make the constraint. Left click one more time, we got the controller and the length is 42.41 so we're going to just say, or 48.41, so we're just going to say it's length of 48 and I want you to take notice that we're going to have to actually set the minimum length when the door is open to something that's not close to zero because when it gets close enough to zero and it flips the opposite direction as you see the constraints going the opposite side it does this and we don't want that so to fix that you just flip it back to the other side and it'll get normal so Getting into the Expression 2 chip, I'm going to paste that here. We're going to need just outputs and persist for this part. Um, the output is going to be length and distance, and the persist is going to be two entities. One's going to be player, the other's going to be door. And then we're going to have a vector. Ooh, vectors, all right. So we're going to start with an if first, or dupe statement. And we're going to use, from a tutorial 4A in Expression 2 series, the find by commands to get the door's entity. So we're going to use find by model in this case. So let's go grab that model, which would go into the uh, list, right click, copy the clipboard, and we'll paste it right here. And then uh, we're going to use the find sort by distance command. And it's going to be centered at the Expression 2 chip's position. Alright, and then we're going to assign door to find result 2. And this is going to say that this is find result 1 in the uh, find command, this uh, plate right here. This plate right here is find result 2 because it's second closest to the expression 2 chip. Alright, so let's go into uh, using run on tick. And we'll set it to 10. Now we're going to use another find by command and we're going to use find by class, in this case it's going to be player, so we're using we're making a player finder and player's entity is going to be set to the closest result from, uh, to the door's position from that find by class command. Alright, now we're going to use some vector manipulation which I go over in a tutorial for A, B, and C and we're going to set vector equal to the player's position and it's going to be subtracted from the door's position. And this is going to give us a distance vector in which we can actually get the numerical distance by taking the mathematical function of the square root of the x component of the vector squared plus the y component of the vector squared. And we can even use the z component squared. I'm going to show you what that does. Um, so let's get a screen up. All right, and we'll wire that up. So A is the distance. So as you can see, it's getting my distance from the door. That Z squared when, uh, affects if I jump or not. So it won't affect if I'm crouching because my entity data or my entity position is based at my feet. So only when I jump will it change the distance. If you don't want that to happen, you can simply eliminate this part and now it's only considering my x and y distance from the door. Alright, so let's get that door to open. So we're going to use if statements of the tutorial 3 in expression 2. So if the distance is less than 100, we want the length of the door not to be 0 or 1 or whatever. Remember, we don't want it to uh, flip to the other side, so we want to keep it at a value of 5. Or if you want to be daring, we'll put 3. Else, we're going to have a length of 48. 
Now, if you are anal and you want to get that 0.4 in there, let's make it 48.4, you do plus, then you do 4 divided by 10, and that'll give you four, uh, 0.4. All right, so let's do that. And we're going to wire length to this length. And as you can see, it opens when I'm close and closes when I'm far away. I'm at a distance of 100. It kind of spazzes out. And uh, that's because I'm right on the border and the uh, position of the door is moving. Thus, it's getting farther away from me and causing this open door effect happening. So I'll uh, go over that in the next video how to solve that issue. But for this video, that's going to cover the basics of hydraulic door. I'm going to tell you how to add a lock to your door as well in the next video. And until then, I'll see you then.